hello friends how are you hope you all will be fit and fine so welcome to my channel cooking your mind we are going to start a knowledge based series of current affairs in this video we will discuss about all the events important days and other things that happened in june 2022 if you haven't subscribed the channel so kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to remain updated so friends in this video we will discuss everything that happened in june 2022 every events every days that are important in june 2022 will be discussed in this video so the first one mcqs is every year global day of parents is observed on the dash so answer is 1st june every year on june 1st the world celebrates global day of parents The Global Day of Parents is an annual event that honors the role of parents in the lives of their children. The theme for Global Parent Day 2022 is appreciate all parents throughout the world. So coming on to the next one, every year World Milk Day is observed on the dash globally. So that is also 1st June. The purpose of the day is to recognize milk as global food and to honor the dairy sector. Since 2001, the day has been celebrated on June 1st every year. The theme for World Milk Day 2022 is to draw the world's attention to the climate change crisis and highlight how the dairy industry could minimize its impact on the planet. So, coming on the next one, every year World Bicycle Day is observed on the dash. So, it's 3rd June. World Bicycle Day is celebrated on June 3rd each year celebrating cycling as a way to find a sustainable form of travel that guarantees physical health. World Cycling Day was first celebrated on June 3rd 2018 when the United Nations first adopted the resolution during their regular session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on October 4. The declaration has been adopted by more than 193 member states which encourages them to include bicycles in their regional, international and local development policies and programs. So the fourth one is every year the International Day of Innocent Children Victims of Aggression is observed on the dash. So answer is 4th June. The International Day of Innocent Children Victims of Aggression is a United Nations Observance Day on June 4th each year. According to recent statistics, 536 million children live in countries affected by conflict or disasters. About 50 million children have been displaced from their homes. When these children get displaced, it increases their vulnerability to violence and exploitation. The UN Sustainable Development Goal 16 promotes peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. As part of this goal the UN hopes to end abuse exploitation and trafficking and all forms of violence against 2030 So the fifth one is every year World Environment Day is observed on the so answer is 5th June every year on June 5 the globe celebrates World Environment Day the day's goal is to raise awareness and action for environmental conservation 2022 Sweden is the host of World Environment Day and the theme of the day in 2022 is only one earth so the number 6 is every year world food safety day is observed on the dash globally so answer is 7th june world food safety day is observed annually on 7th june to help prevent detect and manage food borne risks The objective of celebrating the day is to focus on food security and highlight different areas relating to human health, economic prosperity, agriculture, market access, tourism and sustainable development. So the next one is every year Russian language day is observed on the dash globally. So this answer is 6th June. United Nations Russian Day is celebrated every year on June 6. It is one of the six official languages used by the United Nations throughout the organization. The day was created by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization in 2010. So the number 8th is 
every year international day for the fight against illegal unreported and unregulated fishing is observed on the dish globally so the answer is 5th june the international day to fight illegal unreported and unregulated fishing is celebrated every year on 5th june according to the food and agriculture organization of the united nations iuu fishing activities cause between 11 and 26 million tons of fish loss each year with an estimated economic value of 10 to 23 billion usd so the next one is every year world's ocean day is observed on the dash so the answer is 8th june world oceans day is celebrated each year on june 8 to ponder upon the role and importance of the oceans they provides a platform to inspire action and sustainable use of marine resources available to our planet world ocean day reminds us of the role oceans play in our everyday life so the 10th one is every year world brain tumor day is observed dash 8 june so world brain tumor day is observed every year on june 8 as a day dedicated to creating awareness about brain tumors a brain tumor occurs in brain cells that multiply abnormally and in an uncontrolled way there is or non cancerous depending on their location and grading the theme for world brain tumor day 2022 is together we are stronger so coming to the next slide every year international sex workers day is observed on the dash globally the answer is 2nd june international sex workers day is observed on 2nd june every year across the world this day is celebrated to highlight the rampant exploitation of sex workers and the terrible conditions they live in the aim of the day is to raise awareness about the abuse of sex workers next question is every year world day against child labor is observed on the dash globally the answer is 12th june world day against child labor 2022 is observed all over the world on june 12th as an awareness event to protect children against labor the theme of 2022 is children shouldn't work in fields but on dreams next question is every year world blood donor day is observed on the dash so the answer is 14th june on june 14th every year world blood donor day is observed all over the world as an awareness event to raise the safe blood and blood products the blood is observed to promote blood donation and to encourage people to donate blood to save lives the theme of 2022 is donating blood is an act of solidarity join the effort and save lives the next one is every year world wind day is observed on the dash globally the answer is 15th june global wind day 2022 is observed all over the world on 15th june the purpose of the day is to increase public knowledge of wind energy and its uses on this day people all across the world celebrate the importance of wind energy and how it can change the world the next one is every year world elder abuse awareness day is observed on the dash the answer is 15th june <clears throat> so the next question is every year world day to combat desertification and drought is observed on the dash globally the answer is 17th june on june 17th of every year the world day to combat desertification and drought is observed all over the world as an awareness event the theme of the international day against desertification and drought in 2022 is rising from drought together it emphasizes the need for early action to avoid disastrous consequences for humanity and the planetary ecosystems next one is every artistic pride day is observed on the dash globally the answer is 18th june next one is every year world sickle cell awareness day is observed on the dash globally the answer is 19th june every year on june 19th world sickle cell day is remembered to raise awareness of the human sickle cell illness 
the UN declared the day and it has served to raise awareness of the condition, its organization, the care and measures that should be taken and the treatment that should be given to someone who is suffering from it. The theme of 2022 was Shine the Light on Sickle Cell. Next one is Every year World Father's Day is observed on the Desh globally. The answer is 19th June. Every year World Father's Day is celebrated globally on every third Sunday of June. Father's Day always falls on the third Sunday in June which means its actual date changes from year to year. Next one is Every year World Centering Day is observed on the Desh globally. The answer is 19th June. World Centering Day is observed each year all over the world to encourage people to slow down and appreciate the world around them and connect with nature. World Centering Day, sometimes also known as International Centering Day, the purpose of this day is to remind the public to slow down and enjoy their life. The theme of World Centering Day 2022 is Everyone is busy these days and their daily hectic routine impacts adversely on people. So coming on to the next slide, MCQs number 26. Every year United Nations Public Service Day is observed on the dash. The answer is 23rd June. The United Nations Public Service Day is celebrated on June 23rd of every year to celebrate the value and virtue of public service to the community and to highlight the contribution of public service in the development process and also to recognize the work of public servant to encourage young people to pursue careers in the public sector. So coming to the next one, 27 number MCQs, every International Olympic Day is observed on the dash. So this is also 23rd June. Olympic Day Run or International Olympic Day is celebrated on June 23 all over the world. Athletes from every nation participate in sports activities such as runs, exhibitions, music and educational seminars on this day. The theme of International Olympic Day 2022 is Stay Healthy, Stay Strong and Stay Active with the Olympic Day Workout on June 23. The day is observed to encourage more people to attend the Olympic Games, to raise knowledge about the event and to promote the Olympic movement. So coming to the next MCQs, every year International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit trafficking is observed on the dash globally so the answer is 26 june every year on june 26 the international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking 2022 is remembered to raise awareness about the impact and negative consequences that drugs have on society the theme of this year's international day against drug abuse is share drug facts save lives Next one is every year international day of topic observed on Desh. So the answer is June 29. The international day of the topics which is observed on 29th June annually highlights the challenges faced by the nations of the tropics and the opportunities their citizens have access to. The 30th number MCQs is every year World Asteroid Day is observed on the dish globally. So the answer is 30th June. The World Asteroid Day 2022 is celebrated to promote awareness about how asteroids will be used in the future, how asteroids will pave the path for future exploration and how we can protect our planet from asteroid collisions. So coming on to the next so the 31 number mcqs is according to a world bank report dash million people globally have no access to electricity so the answer is 733 million so a new world bank report says 733 million people globally have no access to electricity while 2.4 billion people are still using fuels detrimental to their health and the environment Next is the, which is the 20th European country to adopt the Euro currency from 2023? So it is Croatia. Croatia is set to adopt the Euro currency from the start of 2023 after meeting all the criteria to join the European Commission. 
this move will make Russia the 20th European country to use the single currency. European Commission President said in a statement that Croatia has made a step toward adopting the euro common currency. Next one is which country persons becomes the world's oldest to sail solo across the Pacific. So it is from Japan. An 83 year old man arrived in Japan early on June 4, 2022 morning after a solo non-stop trip across the Pacific becoming the oldest ever to achieve the feat. The next one is name of the two BJP leaders who have made derogatory remarks against the Holy Prophet peace be upon him. So their name are Nupur Sharma and Naveen Kumar Jindal. So at the center of this controversy is Nupur Sharma who was a spokesperson of the Hindu nationalist Bhartiya Janta Party BJP. She made controversial remarks regarding Muhammad peace be upon him and the age of one of his wives Aisha Taala Anha and videos of her statement had gone viral. Naveen Jindal who has media heads of the party's Delhi unit had also posted a provocative tweet on the issue. So the next one is when was Nupur Sharma suspended from the BJP due to her comments about the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So she was suspended on 5th June 2022 on the derogatory remarks against the Holy Prophet peace be upon him. So the next MCQ is which country report has marked out both India and Pakistan for restricting religious freedom. So the answer is USA. US Secretary of State Antony Bilkin has marked out both India and Pakistan for restricting religious freedom. He pointed India for rising attacks on religious minorities and their places of worship and Pakistan for sentencing 16 people to death last year on blasphemy charges. Next one is on June 5, 2022, which country launched a spacecraft Shenzhou 14? So it's China. China successfully launched another manned mission to its new space station on June 5, 2022, sending three astronauts who will continue construction work for six months before returning to Earth in December. Astronauts lifted off on the Shenzhou 14 spacecraft. It was launched by Long March 2F rocket from Jiquan Satellite Launch Center located in Gobi Desert of Inner Mongolia. So the next one is when China launches third crewed mission to its new space station. So this is the same one and the date is given June 5, 2022. Coming on to the next one, which phone scam busted by international pol police recently? So this is flu boat. Police in 11 countries taken down a mobile phone scam dubbed Flubot that spread around the world via fake text messages. Flubot is malicious software malware that sends text messages to both Androids and iPhones. Next one is British Prime Minister Boris Johnson won a vote on answer is June 6, 2022. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has survived a confidence vote that could have seen him removed from power. Despite profound discontent within his ruling Conservative Party, Johnson won a vote of confidence by 2148 votes. So coming on to the MCQs number 41, when have the United States, Britain, France and Germany submitted a motion to the UN Atomic Energy Watchdog to censor Iran? Answer is 7 June 2022. The United States, Britain, France and Germany have submitted a motion to the UN Atomic Energy Watchdog to censor Iran over its lack of cooperation with the agency. The resolution urging Iran to cooperate fully with the International Atomic Energy Agency. 
it is a sign of growing western impatience after talks to revive the 2015 landmark nuclear accord with iran stalled in march however the motion is largely symbolic and doesn't threaten any specific actions from world powers against iran next one is when president dr arif alvi approved the reconstitution of national economic council nec answer is june 7 2022 dr arif alvi is from pakistan so president dr arif alvi on june 7 2022 approved the reconstitution of 13 member national economic council a constitutional body responsible for reviewing the country's overall economic condition and formulating plans while ensuring balanced development and regional equity under article 156 of the constitution next one is which is the first country in south asia to launch e gate for e passports so it's bangladesh bangladesh has launched e gate as the first country in south asia this e gate has been installed as hazrat shah jalal international airport in dhaka as a result one passenger can complete his her, her immigration process by 18 seconds only a total of 12 e gates have been installed in the departure area while three at the arrival area of dhaka airport Next one is on June 8, 2022, which country disconnects some of the IAEA monitoring cameras at nuclear sites? So it's again Iran. Iran disconnected some of the United Nations nuclear watchdogs monitoring cameras on June 8, 2022. The country's Atomic Energy Organization said in it after Western actions accused Tehran of non-cooperation. Next one is who wins the first LIV Gold Invitational Series? richest golf event so it's karl schwarzel so it's uh, difficult to pronounce this uh, specific name so we can say it karl schwarz so um, former masters champion karl schwarz has banked 4.75 million by winning the richest tournament in golf history while the event saw the bakers fest renewed backlash after a 911 victims group called for american players to withdraw the series The first LIV Golf Invitational Series event started on 9 June 2022 at the Centurion Club near London, England. So the next one is which country is the host of 19th Shangri-La Dialogue? Answer is Singapore. The 19th Shangri-La Dialogue was hosted in Singapore from June 10 to June 12, 2022 in Singapore after 2 years. It is hosted by International Institute for Strategic Studies. About 500 delegates from more than 40 countries took part in this summit. Prime Minister of Japan Fumio presented the opening keynote address on June 10, 2022. During the address, he outlined Japan's vision for regional security. He is the first Prime Minister of Japan to speak at this summit since 2014. Next one is in which country world's largest ever freshwater fish has been found recently? The answer is Cambodia. A fisher in Cambodia has caught what scientists say is the world's largest recorded freshwater fish, a giant stingray. It is captured on June 13. The stingray measured almost 4 meters from snout to tail and weighed slightly less than 300 kg. The next one is a street in front of the Saudi embassy in Washington DC has been renamed as the answer is Jamal Khashoggi Way. The capital's local government changed sign on one block in front of the imposing embassy to read Jamal Khashoggi Way in honor of the Saudi dissident who was strangled to death and dismembered inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in 2018. Next one is which country hosted the Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians? The answer is Egypt. On 15th and 16th June, some 200 young parliamentarians from 60 countries convened in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, for the 8th IPU Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians. Egypt has hosted the 8th Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians in Sharm El Sheikh. The next one is the International Day of Family Remittances is observed in which month? It is observed in June. The International Day of Family Remittances is observed on 16th June every year.
it recognizes the importance of over 200 million migrant workers who send money home according to the un over 800 million people receive money as foreign remittances from their loved ones so coming to the next one which cricket team created a world record with n one day international score of 498 runs the answer is england england hit a world record one day international score of 498 against the netherland and won the match by 232 runs the england team beat their previous mark of 481 which was set against australia at trent bridge in 2018 so the next question is which country recently launched its most advanced aircraft carrier named fujian answer is china china recently launched its third aircraft carrier named fujian it is also the country's most advanced and the first fully domestically built naval vessel fujian is the name of china's eastern coastal province of fujian so the next question is the fatf plenary session in june 2022 was held at the answer is berlin germany Next question is the outcomes of the FATF plenary June 2022 was published on the answer is 17th June The next question is second round of presidential elections were held in Colombia on answer is 19th June 2022 Presidential elections were held in Colombia on 29th of May 2022 with a run off on 19 june 2022 as no candidate obtained at least 50% in the first round of voting evan duke who was elected president in 2018 was ineligible to run due to term limits gustavo petro a senator and former mayor of bogota defeated rodolfo former mayor of bucaramanga in the run off election Petro's victory made him the first left-wing candidate to be elected president of So the next question is Russian journalist Dmitry Muratov auctions Nobel medal for 10 million dollars answer is 103.5 million dollars he donated all these dollars to ukrainian children and their families which were displayed by russians invasion of their country next question is the european union leaders agreed on dash to grant candidate status to ukraine the answer is june 23 2022 european union leaders have granted candidate status to ukraine in its bid to join the bloc as tensions deepened over russian gas supplies and moscow's forces closed in on key cities in a show of support the european union leaders agreed on june 23 2022 to grant candidate status to ukraine as well as moldova although the two former soviet republics face a long path before joining the bloc the next question is which country has launched a solid fuel rocket named zuljana the answer is iran Iran has launched a solid fuel rocket into space named Zuljana. It is a 25.5 meter long rocket capable of carrying a satellite of 220 kg. The satellites will gather data in a low earth orbit. Zuljana is named after the horse of Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So the next question is which country blocks participation of Pakistan in BRICS meeting? answer is india india reportedly blocked an invitation to pakistan for the high level dialogue on global development held virtually on the sidelines of the brics meeting last week leaders of two dozen non member countries of the brics format attended the meeting virtually held on june 24 So the next one is Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting 2022 took place on 20 to 25 June 2022 in answer is Kigali Rwanda Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting 2022 took place on 20 to 25 June 2022 in Kigali Rwanda Commonwealth leaders travel to Rwanda to reaffirm their common values and agree on actions and policies to improve the lives of their citizens.
सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज वेयर फिफ्टी वन माइग्रेंट्स फोन डेड इन ट्रक इन जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो द एंसर इज टेक्स एट लीस्ट फिफ्टी वन माइग्रेंट्स हैव डाइड आफ्टर बींग ट्रेप्ड इन साइड ए सोयल ट्रिंग ट्रैक्टर ट्रेलर ट्रक फोन एबेंडन इन टेक्स इंक्लूडिंग दैम थर्टी नाइन मैन एंड ट्वेल्व वुमेन मोस्ट ऑफ दैम वर द सिटीजन ऑफ मैक्सिको द नेक्स्ट वन इज वेन फेडरल कैबिनेट अप्रूव द नेशनल हेजर्डस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द एंसर इज जून ट्वेंटी एट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द फेडरल कैबिनेट ऑन जून ट्वेंटी एट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू अप्रूव द नेशनल हेजर्डस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट पॉलिसी विथ passed on to provinces and implemented at the federal level for international compliance the next one is the first case of cat to human covid transfer was reported in which country the answer is thailand scientists in thailand have reported the first solid evidence of a pet cat infecting a person a veterinary surgeon with covid 19 through researchers say such cases of cat to human transmission are probably rare next one is when ferdinand marcos junior has been sworn in as philippine president answer is june 30 2022 on june 30 2022 marcos junior took the oath of office as the 17th president of the philippines at the national museum of the philippines and was administered the oath by chief minister chief justice alexander gasmando The next one is when Kitanji Brown sworn in as black as first black woman on US Supreme Court. The answer is June 30, 2022. Kitanji Brown Jackson is an American judge who serves as an associate judge of the Supreme Court of the United States. The first African American woman to serve on the court. Jackson was sworn in on June 30, 2022, having been confirmed by the United States Senate on April 7, 2. So the next one is who is the current president of FATF? The answer is T. Raja Kumar. So T. Raja Kumar began a two-year term as president of the Financial Action Task Force on 1st July 2022. The term of the president begins on 1st July and it will end on 30 June, two years after assuming office. Next one is who has been awarded the first best contact award and the immunization champion award by United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund the answer is Omar Nisar the next one is which country has topped the position in global environment performance index the answer is Denmark in the index 2022 Denmark has been ranked first with EPI score of 77.90 It is followed by United Kingdom with a score of 77.70. Finland is ranked third, followed by Malta and Sweden. The next one is NASA is set to launch a mission called Da Vinci Mission. The mission will fly by Venus and explore its harsh atmosphere in Daesh. Answer is 2029. So The mission will fly by Venus and explore its harsh atmosphere in 2029. It will be the first mission to study Venus by means of both flybys and descent. A spacecraft is likely to explore layered Venetian atmosphere. It will reach Venetian surface by June 2031. The mission would capture data about Venus that scientists are trying to measure since early 1980s. The next question is Who has won the Azerbaijan Formula 1 Grand Prix 2022? The answer is Max Verstappen. Red Bull's Max Verstappen won the Azerbaijan Formula 1 Grand Prix to extend his Formula 1 championship lead over Ferrari's Charles. After clinching the title, he became the most successful driver in the Red Bull of all time. Next one is who has been named as ICC men's player of the month for May 2022 the answer is angelo matthews angelo matthews beat off competition from fellow countryman fernando and bangladesh star mushfiqur rahim to win the award matthews was impressive in the two match series against bangladesh away from home where he finished as the highest run getter with 344 runs which included two centuries in the first test in chitagram He narrowly missed out on a double turn at 199. In the second match at Midpur, he scored a brilliant 145 in the first innings in Sri Lanka's 10-wicket win over the hosts. The win helped the Islanders climb to number four in the ICC World Test Championship table with a point percentage of 55.56. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द अंडर सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस द आंसर इज रबाब फातिमा यूनाइटेड नेशन सेक्रेटरी अनाउंस द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ रबाब फातिमा ऑफ बांग्लादेश एज अंडर सेक्रेटरी जनरल एंड हाई रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर द लीस्ट डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज लैंड लॉक डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज एंड स्मॉल आईलैंड डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज द नेक्स्ट वन इज The Desh World Trade Organization's ministerial conference opened at WTO headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. Answer is 12th. The 12th WTO ministerial conference co-hosted by Switzerland and Kazakhstan at World Trade Organization headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. This was taking place after a gap of almost 5 years and that was attended by the trade ministers of 164 nations. This conference was chaired by Taimur, first deputy chair chief of staff of Kazakhstan president. Kazakhstan was originally scheduled to host MC12 in June 2020 but the conference was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The next one is who has been named as ICC women's player of the month for May 2022. The answer is Tuba Hassan. Tuba Hassan is a Pakistani cricketer who was adjudged ICC women's player of the women for May 2022 for her impressive debut series against Sri Lanka. She took 5 wickets in 3T20s including 3 for 8 in his debut match. Who has won the women's singles title at 2022 BWF Indonesia Masters Badminton Tournament? The answer is Chen Yufai. So the next question is in which country the 8th global conference of young parliamentarians has been held to address climate change the answer is egypt it was already discussed in our previous slide so there is no need to discuss it again so we are coming to the next question which company has invested usd 5 lakhs in association with un women for the link women project to create employment opportunities for women the answer is linkedin next one is agricultural and processed food products export development authority has recently launched an 8 day long mango festival in which country to boost export of mangoes the answer is bahrain during the mango festival 34 varieties of mangoes were being displayed it was organized till june 20 2022 Japan has participated in NATO summit in Madrid for the first time in June 2020. To who is the president secretary general of NATO? The answer is Jens Stoltenberg. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio has said that he will attend this month's NATO summit in Madrid becoming the country's first leader to join a top meeting of the transatlantic group. Japan a key united states ally and not a nato member has delivered defensive size to ukraine and imposed tough sanctions on russia in tandem with the group of 7 g7 countries so the next one is what is the equator small finance bank's exclusive savings account for kids named as the answer is in joy So the next one is who has won the Colombia's presidency election the answer is Gustavo Petro Gustavo Petro has become the first leftist president of Colombia he secured 50.5% of vote in second round of the presidential election which was held on June 19 2020 next one is in Sri Lanka the government has amended the minimum age limit for women leaving for foreign employment as domestic aids to days of age so the answer is 21 years next one is khushgal lake national park has been added to world network of biosphere reserve of unesco khushgal lake national park is located in which country so it is located in mongolia Next one is Global Livability Index is released by so it is released by Economic Intelligence Unit the global livability ranking is a yearly assessment published by the Economist Intelligence Unit ranking 172 global cities for their urban quality of life based on assessments of stability healthcare culture and environment education and infrastructure 
Austria's capital Vienna was ranked the most livable city in 2022 among the 172 cities surveyed by the Economist Intelligence Unit. Next one is which country has conducted its first successful satellite launch using domestic rocket nuri the answer is south korea south korea said it successfully launched a small but working satellite into orbit using its first homemade rocket on tuesday bringing the country closer to its dream of becoming a new player in the space industry and deploying its own spy satellites to better monitor north korea the three stage nuri rocket built by the government's korea aerospace research institute together with hundreds of local companies blasted off from the narrow space center in gohin on the southwestern tip of south korea at 4 pm on tuesday Which country has launched new batch of 3 Yagon 35 remote sensing satellites recently? So the answer is China. Three new remote sensing satellites were successfully launched by China from the Zhichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China. The satellites were launched by a Long March 2D carrier rocket at 10:22 a.m. as part of the Yagon 35 family and successfully entered the intended orbit. Next one is 21st edition of the Transylvania International Film Festival has been held in which country so the answer is Romania it is the first international feature film festival in Romania and one of the most important film festivals in eastern europe next one is theo margherita magnifica in news recently is world's biggest dish found in caribbean mangrove swamp so it's bacteria Scientists have discovered a giant white bacterium named Theo Margherita on rotting leaves in saline waters of red mangrove swamp in Lesser Antilles. So let's study some features of this bacteria. It is 1 cm in length. This discovery will help in solving the puzzle of which factors determine size of a cell. Previously discovered giant bacteria are made of hundreds of thousands of cells. But Theo Margherita magnifica is composed of single bacterial cell. It is roughly equal to the size of human eyelash. It is the largest bacteria discovered so far. It is around 5,000 times larger than most bacteria. It has been named Theo Margherita because of its size and the presence of pearl-like beads of sulfur inside the cell. Next one is Sydney Macallan. created world record in dash with 51.41 seconds by breaking her breaking her so the next one is which space organization researchers successfully launched capstone spacecraft to the moon from new zealand the answer is nasa the spacecraft called capstone is about the size of a microwave oven It will study a specific orbit where NASA plans to build a small space station for astronauts to stop at before and after going to the moon's surface. At 9:55 p.m. local time, a 59-foot tall rocket carrying capstone lifted off from a launch pad along the eastern coast of New Zealand. Although the mission is gathering information for NASA, it is owned and operated by a private company, Advanced Space, based in Westminster, Colo. Next one is how many people died in recent earthquake in Afghanistan so the answer is more than 1000 an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.1 has hit Afghanistan killing more than 1000 people and injuring more than 1500 the earthquake was one of the deadliest since 2002 the next one is which country has ended the constitutional protection for abortion answer is united states on june 25 2022 United States Supreme Court has ended the constitutional protection for abortion that had been in place for nearly 50 years. The move has triggered doubts about liberty and women's personal autonomy in the United States. Next one is which two countries have applied to be a part of the BRICS? So the answer is Argentina and Iran. Argentina and Iran have applied to be a part of the international group BRICS with Brazil, Russia, India and South Africa as existing members. So the next one is the European Union leaders agreed on dash to grant candidate status to Ukraine. The answer is June 23, 2022. The European Commission has made a historic 
step in recommending that Ukraine and Moldova be granted European Union's candidates status. So coming to the next question, the BRICS summit 2022 is to be hosted in a virtual mood on and so is 23 to 24 June. Next one is which country hosted the 14th BRICS summit in June 2022 virtually? The answer is China. So coming to the agenda of the meeting, during the summit the leaders discussed about the humanitarian situation in and around Ukraine. They expressed support for United Nations, Red Cross and UN agencies to provide humanitarian assistance. 14th BRICS summit called to finalize and adopt comprehensive convention on international terrorism within the framework of UN. Member states also called for policy coordination in order to recover from economic losses amid COVID-19 pandemic. They further agreed to promote consumer protection in e-commerce as well as strengthen cooperation and exchanges in trade in services. Discussions were held in the fields of counterterrorism, trade, environment, health, traditional medicine, science, technology and innovation. So the next one is the 14th BRICS summit convened under the chairship of so the answer is President Xi Jinping of China. Next one is I2U2 is the new grouping formed by so there are the four countries India, Israel, UAE and USA. The new I2U2 grouping of India, Israel, UAE and the US held its first virtual summit next month as part of the Biden administration's effort to re-energize and revitalize American alliances across the world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, US President Joe Biden, Israeli Prime Minister Neftali Bennett and UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan attended the first of its kind virtual summit. The virtual summit of the four countries took place during Biden's trip to the Middle East region from July 13 to 16, a senior administration official told reporters during a conference call. The next one is how many matches will be played in FIFA World Cup 2022? So the answer is 64. So the next one is which country will make football for FIFA 2022? So it is Pakistan. Although Pakistan is currently facing suspension from international football due to third parties interference, but the country still makes headlines in the world's richest sport for positive reasons. It is producing footballs which will be used once again during the 2022 FIFA World Cup in November-December in Qatar. The first Gulf nation which will be hosting the global showpiece whose draws were held a few days ago in Doha a day after the FIFA Congress. So the next one is a Turkish court imprisoned Daesh journalists and media workers spreading terrorist propaganda. So the answer is 16. A Turkish court has jailed 16 Kurdish journalists for allegedly spreading terrorist propaganda and belonging to a terrorist organization. The media workers were accused of being close to the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party HDP in the southeast city of Diyarbakir. A total of 20 journalists were arrested earlier this month for alleged links to the PKK and four people have since been released under judicial supervision. So the next one is which country has released the new comprehensive geological map of the moon so far? The answer is China. The geological map is likely to make a significant contribution to scientific research, exploration and landing site selection on the moon. Chinese scientists have created the high-resolution topographic moon on the basis of data from Chinese lunar exploration project called Chang'e project. So it includes 12,341 impact craters, 17 rock types, 81 impact basins and 14 types of structures. Thus it provides abundant information regarding the geology of the moon and its evolution. It will make a significant contribution to exploration, scientific research and landing site selection on the moon. The next one is which country has recently launched national carbon emissions market to reach its climate goals? The answer is Canada. Government of Canada has launched Canada's greenhouse gas offset credit system in a bid to reduce carbon pollution. Reducing greenhouse gases from waste 
which is responsible for 7% of greenhouse gases in Canada is a key component for achieving Canada's emissions reduction targets. Next one is which is the first state in Asia Pacific region to enter sovereign default in the 21st century. So the answer is Sri Lanka. In April 2022, the Sri Lankan government announced that it was defaulting making it the first sovereign default in Sri Lankan history since its independence in 1948 and the first state in Asia Pacific region to enter sovereign default in the 21st century. So the next one is Navid Hanif appointed as Assistant Secretary General for Economic Development in the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs. He belonged to which country? So the answer is Pakistan. UN Secretary General Antonio appointed Navid Hanif of Pakistan to the high post of Assistant Secretary General for Economic Depol Development in the Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Next one is which city is the host of the summit of the America 2022? Answer is Los Angeles. The ninth summit of the America 2022 was held from June 6 to June 10. It is an international conference and was held in Los Angeles, United States. Next one is which country's top court cartel the government's citizenship powers? Answer is Australia. Australia's highest court has made a landmark ruling that will curtail the government's citizenship powers and how government can deal with extremists. This high court restored Dalai Alexander Australian citizenship that was cancelled in July last year by the then Home Affairs Minister Khan Andrews. Dalai Alexander was suspected to be Islamic State group fighter. On June 8, 2022, which country disconnects some of the IAEA monitoring cameras at nuclear sites? So the answer is Iran. Which is the first country in South Asia to launch e-gate for e-passports? So the answer is Bangladesh. Bangladesh has launched eGate as the first country in South Asia. This eGate has been installed as Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport in Dhaka. As a result, one passenger can complete his her immigration process by 18 seconds only. So the next one is which country has unveiled the San Jose Galleon shipwreck? hidden underwater for three centuries. The answer is Colombia. Next one is when German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock visited Pakistan for the first time. Answer is June 7, 2022. German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock arrived in Islamabad on Tuesday for the start of her two-day visit to Pakistan. The Green Party lawmaker held talks with her counterpart Blawal Bhutto Zardari which centered around bilateral cooperation and regional challenges including the situation in Afghanistan. On June 5, 2022, which country fired eight short-range ballistic missiles towards the sea off its east coast? Answer is North Korea. North Korea launched eight short-range ballistic missiles toward its east coast. The individual missiles flew 110 km to 670 km at a maximum altitude of 25 km to 90 km. Next one is which country hosted the 10-day meeting of parties to the Antarctic Treaty? Answer is Germany. Germany has recently hosted the 10-day meeting of parties to the Antarctic Treaty in Berlin. A majority of parties held the opinion that there is scientific evidence for the emperor pangaean species to be put under the special protection. It is said that China has blocked efforts to step up protection of imperial pangaeans in Antarctica. The species are threatened by the effects of global warming on their natural habitat in Antarctica. So the next one is which social media platform has launched an alert feature to help find missing children? The answer is Meta. Instagram has launched an alert feature to help find missing children. The photo sharing app has partnered with various organizations globally to set up the feature. The feature will display details about missing children on users' Instagram feed if they are in a specific area where an active search is taking place. The alerts on the Meta-on platform will include details such as child's photo description and location of the abduction. 
Instagram will show users alert based on information like their IP address and location services if it is turned on. So the next one is a country in India has sentenced senior Kashmiri separatist leader Yasin Malik to life imprisonment on Daesh. Answer is 25th May 2022. A court in India has sentenced senior Kashmiri separatist leader Yasin Malik to life imprisonment after convicting him of funding terrorism. He was found guilty of participating in and funding terrorist acts and involvement in criminal conspiracy. Next one is Hermit spyware is used in Daesh countries. Answer is Northern Syria, Kazakhstan and Italy. Hermit spyware is capable of affecting Android and iOS devices. As per TechCrunch report, Lookout security researchers have informed that national governments have used the Android version of Hermit spyware in targeted attacks with victims in Kazakhstan, Italy and Syria. Hermit is a commercial spyware and it is known to be used by governments with victims in northern Syria, Kazakhstan and Italy. It was first detected in Kazakhstan in April 2022 after government violently suppressed protests against its policies. It was once deployed in northeastern Kurdish region of Syria and by Italian authorities for an anti-corruption investigation. Next one is which country has used Iskander M missile system? So the answer is Russia. Russia made this announcement when G7 form met in Germany. Russia raised nuclear weapons as a sort of warning to the West against their support to Ukraine. This system has been used by Russia against Europe in the past. Iskander M missile has a range of 500 km. It is capable of carrying a payload of up to 700 kg. Russia has announced to transfer the Iskander M missile system to Belarus. This missile system can be used by ballistic or cruise missiles in their nuclear and conventional versions. Iskander M missile system is codenamed as SS-26 Stone by NATO. It has already been deployed in Kaliningrad, Russia exclave. From there it can be used to target NATO forces in Poland, Sweden and the Baltic states. Next one is the G7 grouping has announced a Daesh global infrastructure programs for poor countries. Answer is USD 600 billion. The G7 grouping has announced a USD 6 billion global infrastructure programs for poor countries. This move was aimed at competing with formidable Belt and Road Initiative of China. The partnership was unveiled by US President Joe Biden and G7 allies from Germany, Canada, Japan, Italy and the European Union. It is aimed at fulfilling a huge gap left because China uses its economic cloud for stretching its diplomatic tentacles across the world. Target was for US for bringing USD 200 billion to the table. G7 would bring USD 400 billion by 2027. Next one is Western Sahara dispute is between Daesh. It is between Algeria and Spain. On June 8, 2022, Algeria announced to suspend its Treaty of Friendship, Good Neighborness and Cooperation that it signed with Spain 20 years ago. This move has proved beneficial for both the countries. This deal was signed in 2002 for promoting dialogue and cooperation on economic, political, financial, defense and education issues. So the next one is uh, MCQ's number 136. Daesh has been ranked as top in World Competitive Index. Answer is Denmark. Institute for Management Development recently compiled and released the annual World Competitive Index on June 15, 2022. Denmark has been ranked at top position among top 63 nation list. It was ranked at third position in 2021. Switzerland dropped from the top position to second position. It is followed by Singapore at third position. Next one is recently a woman died in United States due to infection of tick-borne dash. This is 
Powassan virus. Recently, a woman died in United States due to infection of tick-borne Powassan virus. She was in her 90s. She is the second person to test positive for Powassan virus in 2022. Powassan virus is a flavi virus which is transmitted by ticks. This virus is found in North America and Russian Far East. It is named after the town of Powassan, Ontario. In Powassan town, this virus was first identified in 1958 for the first time. Next one is, astronomers have detected a signal named Dash from a galaxy which is around 3 billion light years away. The answer is fast radio burst. Astronomers have detected a signal from a galaxy which is around 3 billion light years away. This signal is called fast radio burst. Mysterious fast radio bursts have been detected for the second time ever. The burst is said to be co-located with a compact and persistent radio source. It is connected with the dwarf host galaxy of high specific star formation. The next one is the scientists and researchers from across the world gathered in Stockholm on Daesh. Answer is 4 June 2022. On 4 June 4, 2022, the scientists, researchers and activists from across the world gathered in Stockholm. They were expected to issue a strong resolution for to phase out fossil fuels as well as to support developing nations in their transition to clean energy. The last one is on June 2, 2022, PM of Daesh signed a USD 1 billion deal to settle a century-old land claim of Blackfoot tribe. Answer is Prime Minister of Canada. On June 2, 2022, Prime Minister of Canada signed a USD 1 billion deal to set a century of land claim of Blackfoot tribe. Government took around half of the reserve lands of tribes in Algeria province in 1910 in order to use it for resources development as well as to sell to settlers. Settlement deal is one of the largest agreements of its kind in Canada. It seeks to correct the mistakes when Canadian government broke promise and took half of six Sikar nations reserve land to sale to settlers. That's it.